Thunder Bay's conservatory is getting new federal funding to the tune of $1.7 million. That money will help pay for upgrades to the tropical oasis on D Street after proposed costs increased over the last year and a half. Corey Nordstrom has the details. It's going to cost well over $7 million to renew the Centennial Botanical Conservatory, and paying that bill was significantly helped out by the federal government, as local MP Marcus Pulowski announced just over $1.7 million from Canada's Cultural Spaces Fund for the project. When it's March and it's 20 below, or February, and there's a snowstorm, and you suddenly remember it, the conservatory. I should go there and it and just you walk through these doors and you're in the tropics um, for a few minutes. And it, it, it's just so nice to have this place. The total project includes work to the main conservatory structure as well as new production greenhouses and an annex building. Though estimated at five million dollars in the fall of 2020, it's now expected to cost around 7.5 million. So far, the city has set aside 3.2 million of its own money, and two million in provincial funds was confirmed in January. Mayor Bill Morrow says the federal announcement pushed them over the top. This is a big thing. Check the box. Uh, for the city, an asset that I think most of us believe it was time, it was overdue in terms of needing uh, this investment. And so here we are. It's a great day for the community and those that are, are interested in seeing this facility continue. Canada's funding will specifically focus on the east and west wings of the conservatory that have been closed to the public for years. The west side will remain the cactus room, with the east wing being transformed into a multi-use space. City Parks manager Corey Halverson says they will look to promote the new opportunities that come with a revitalized conservatory. It's going to take some, some work in reintroducing the facility back to the public, but at the same time, you know, we'll be marketing uh, new programs and services that maybe weren't necessarily there before or have been, you know, not been available for some time. The goal is to complete the entire conservatory project during 2023, though site improvements like a new parking lot may stretch into the following year. Alverson says they're starting with the greenhouse and annex work, hoping to complete it by the end of this year. We'd have the design of the conservatory renewal uh, finished and tendered in the fall, hopefully with a word uh, at the end of the year so that construction could start in spring or early summer of 2023. Corey Nordstrom, TVT News.